G'day, Alex Moss here from Tactical Arbitrage and welcome to our first look at the product search page. Um, what we're going to have a look at in this particular video is this top section here. Uh, we won't have a look at the filters in this video, we'll leave that for the next video uh, because there's plenty to talk about up here. Now one of the things that you can do is utilize these tooltips to get some basic information. But I'm going to go over these one by one right now just so that you know exactly how to initiate a product search with Tactical Arbitrage. Now one of the things that you should remember is that you can't really break tactical arbitrage. You can always run some scans, run an unfiltered scan, just play around with some uh, some small scans just to get the feel for it and just to get to see how things work and uh, and just, just do some short scans and experiment and just see what kind of results you get and if those results um, are pointing you in the right direction. But let me give you a few tips and uh, tricks right now. So at the top of the page here we've got UPC sites and products only. Now UPC stands for Universal Product Code. Now when you have a look at, let's say, a barcode in a shop, there'll be um, a 12-digit number, or if you're in the UK, you might have a 13-digit number at the bottom of the barcode. Now that is your Universal Product Code. So in about, say, 25 to 30% of all of the stores that you can source out within Tactical Arbitrage, there is, um, uh, we, we've been able to extract the Universal Product Code from some of the categories within those sites. Uh, it's really cool when we are able to access a universal product code at the source site because the matching algorithms within um, Tactical Arbitrage for universal product code allows us to get a very accurate match against the products that can be found in Amazon. So uh, if you're a newbie and you're just starting out, then universal product code is a really great uh, kind of site to search to start getting those more accurate matches. Don't be afraid, however, to eventually um, have a look at more title match sites because there is, a, there is a lot of title match sites as well and some of those still match very well on, uh, on Amazon too. So what we can do is, uh, first of all, let me show you how this works. So in our drop down menu of all the sites that you can choose from to search on uh, Tactical Arbitrage, you'll see a combination of both UPC uh, slash EAN searches um, and title searches. So uh, UPC is the US term for Universal Product Code, e EAN is the UK uh, term, and then there's these title searches here. Now simply by uh, switching this to UPC sites and products only, you'll notice that all of the selected choices now are UPC. We can only choose from a UPC site. And also, we will only return to you results that are a perfect uh, source UPC to Amazon UPC match. So everything that you see in your results will be these nice, clean, easy to spot matches. Um, when you have that switch off, uh, even if you're searching UPC site, you'll still get um, title matches for when there is no UPC found on that particular product link because not every product link will have a universal product code available for us to extract, but we do get it where we can and we use it where, wherever we can. So um, in the next section here, we might keep this nice and simple, sourcing from USA, selling at .com. Now let's say you're in the UK, you might wanna switch that to sourcing from a UK store, selling at amazon.co.uk. In another video, I'll show you how you can also do cross-country uh, cross country searches, let's say US uh, sourced to sell on um, Amazon uh, UK platform. But for now, we'll keep it nice and simple. You'll see how we've chosen UK to UK there. If I look at the websites, they have all changed and there's so many of these .co.uk sites that you can search from now. Um, what I'll also do, uh, just for the sake of this, I'm gonna pop it back to US and we'll move on to the next filter. Now the next filter says import bulk category lists. Okay, uh, rather than get too deeply into that now, I'll save this for another video, but essentially the search that I'm gonna show you we're able to do, we're able to do in bulk and run multiple categories, uh, one after the other um, at a length of about 60 hours while you walk away and you do other things and you spend the weekend with your family, you can just leave Tactical Arbitrator running the entire time once you start using this bulk category feature. But for now, I'm just gonna leave that switched off and we'll come back to that in an additional video. So website. Now this is kind of cool. You can choose any of these websites and there is hundreds to choose from in amongst our UPC and title matched websites. Um, 
But what's happening over on the side here? So what's happening over on the side here is you're getting these category examples. So it's all well and good to say, I want to search Bloomingdale's, but what category do you want to search on Bloomingdale's? Well, let's just pop across to Bloomingdale's and have a look. Okay, so again, um, I'm trying to rush through this so that the videos are bite-sized and palatable, but you can take all the time in the world to do these comparisons. If you have a look on the right-hand side here, you're gonna get this example. Now this example sort of gives you an idea of the kind of URL you're looking for that you wanna search. So there's gotta be some similarities in here. So you've kind of got this uh, slash shop, slash in this case says shoes, and then you've got this um, SP equals navigation, international, top navigation, shoes by style, all shoes. Okay, so we can, I can kind of get an idea from that URL, the kind of URL that I'm going to be looking for over at Bloomingdale's. Now, um, what I'll do is I'll go to um, a category, say jeans for instance, and this is the kind of page I'm looking for. I'm looking for a uh, category page with multiple products on the page because I wanna scan all of these. I wanna compare all of the prices on here to all of the prices on Amazon US. So um, let me have a look at the URL. We've got um, slash shop. So what we also have a here, slash shop. And at the end here, we've got this navigation underscore international uh, type prefix here. And that all looks good. This is exactly the kind of thing that I'm looking for to scan. So I would copy this, copy, and I would pop it across here, and I would put that in the category selection here. And that is the category that I would be searching. Now, every single one of these websites has a different kind of uh, style of URL that you're going to need to insert. And some of them are really easy to spot the kind of category, and others aren't so easy. But for the most part, as long as you know that you're looking for this page of products and you can get a rough comparison from the top here to um, the category example and, and it looks the same, you shouldn't have any problems at all. So let me pop across to this other one, BG Sales. Okay, let me pop over to here. So let's have a look. The examples that we're looking for are say bgsales.com slash product categories slash media. Uh, so that's pretty straightforward. It's gonna be something like bgsales.com slash product categories slash and then just one word. So that's gonna be nice and simple. So let's have a look at say electronics. Let's, make, let's have a look and see if the URL gives us that kind of result that we're looking for. Excellent. So we've got a page of products here, a category page of products here. It says in the URL, bgsales.com slash product categories slash electronics. Bam, that's what we need. That's what I would copy. And that's what I would paste into here. Okay, before I move on from this section, and hopefully you're getting the idea, um, there's a couple more things that you need to know. So tactical arbitrage also tells you that there are 24 products per page, right? So there's, uh, let's say at the top of the page here, it says, well, actually in this case, it doesn't say that, but on many pages it might say there's, you know, 240 products in this category. What you would do here is you would say, there are 24 products in this category, that is 10 pages. 240 products is 10 pages. So um, in that case, you would put start page one, last page 10. Now the good news is we recently updated Tactical Arbitrage so you don't need these in here anymore. You can just leave both these blank if you're looking to scan everything in that category. What it's going to do is it's gonna automatically assume you wanna start at page one and then it's gonna keep going until it finds no more products. So you can, if you don't wanna do this little extra little bit of mathematics, just leave these blank and it'll just go through this product category slash electronics page and just get all the products, nice and easy. So let's have a look at something else. Before we move on, I just wanna show you one variation because it's not always URLs. In a very small subsection of, of, of uh, domains, it might be maybe uh, six, seven in the entire software, uh, it is slightly different. So let me choose target because target.com is one of these. So for target.com, we have got, um, the information is right here. So it is important to read over on the right hand side. It says, when selecting a category, use the code following N dash contained in the URL of the category you are wanting to scan. All right, that kind of makes sense. Um, and I might just mouse over this here and it's kind of showing me in this, if I mouse over this little shop icon here, it's kind of showing me um, in this box 
that uh, the, the section of the URL that I want. But I want to like see this for myself. So I'm going to pop on over to target. And once again, I can click this little blue box here and it's going to open that for me. So let's find a category. Um, I'm going to find something like, it uh, doesn't really matter. Let's pick baby and strollers. And we'll go shop all strollers. Okay, and right up here at the top here, I can see HTTPS target.com slash C slash strollers baby dash N dash. And then we've got this, this five letter code here, 5XTK7. Brilliant, that's exactly what the software told me to do. Grab the code after the N dash. I'm gonna stick that in here. So I'll have selected target here for my website and the category is 5XTK7. Now, I'm gonna to wanna to, uh, scan everything in, this, everything in this category because I wanna I want to experiment and see what kind of products there's, there's gonna be. I won't select any filters for now. I'm gonna click the submit button. We're gonna get a scan started. All right, so before we wrap this video up, we should really have a look over on the right-hand side panel here and check what, what we're being told. What information are we being given? So it says that there's a running progress going on. It tells us the category number. It tells us the number of pages we're searching, and in this case, we didn't enter anything for first or last page, so it's just telling us one to 999. It's telling us the page number that we're on. It's telling us the current product that we're looking at, the number of products checked, and the number of products added. So there's a couple of little variations we need to discuss here. The current product we're on is number 22, but the products checked is 25. Now the reason for that is, and we can actually check this in what's called the watch logs button here, is that sometimes an additional product, in this case, another match, will be found for that UPC. Now, in the uh, earlier version of Tactical Arbitrage, uh, it would always, check the UPC over at Amazon, and then return to you the, the best ranked item. So the most relevant item that is most likely to be the best selling item on Amazon. Now we did discover over time um, that that is not always the case, that we may want to have a look at anything that matches for that UPC at Amazon. So now we will return to you, as long as they fall within your filters, uh, any match that uh, is, is matching that UPC. So in this case, product number two um, is returning three ASINs for the one UPC that we've asked it to check. And all three of those have been added, uh, especially since we added no filters here. Now beneath this, you can also see products added 54, which is a lot less than the, uh, than the uh, 97 items that have been checked or the 102 items that have now been checked. So you can see down here that a lot of the reasons that an item may not be added would be things such as no match found. There's no match found for that item. Uh, we've skipped one for a mismatch reason. And, and some of these things we'll get into in a later video as well. Um, what constitutes a mismatch, for instance, and why is it appearing in our logs this way? So um, before I head out of this logs page again, just check these buttons at the top here. We've got stop process, which is self-explanatory. It's gonna stop the process. And in fact, it, it is the same button as outside of the logs. You can also stop the process using the button here. You can download the log. Um, and the log that will be downloaded is a more detailed version of this. This is a simplified log. If you wanna see the more detailed version, down the bottom of the page here, there's a little button there, which will revert to the detailed log. Uh, the reasons for the detailed log are there's some extra information on here, such as the ASIN we're checking. And there's a little bit more information here. Let's say um, we'll get into it in a later video as well. If we are, uh, say, debugging an advanced site that you've added yourself, then you can actually get some of that debug data in this detailed logging as well. So we thought we would include um, both variants there for you to check. Let me return to the simple log again. And uh, let me get out of here, actually. Now, the three buttons at the top here, um, view data, this will take you across to the view data page where you can have a look at the things that are being added. Uh, some of these, I mean, I mean, the word added is now our favorite word, right? It's, it's treasure that we can go and check and see if the treasure is worth keeping. So um, any of these products added down the bottom here are being added to the view data page. So in the next video, we're gonna jump across into the view data page and have a look at this unfiltered data. And then after that, we'll, we'll come back and we'll play around with these filters and see what that actually does to our results. Uh, downloading all will download anything that's sitting on the view data page right now and deleting all 
um, which which isn't that easy to do because you have to um, make sure that you say I do want to delete it so you can't accidentally just click that anymore cancel out of that the delete all will delete anything that's currently sitting on the view data page so uh, I'm going to stop this video now and then we're going to jump into the next video where we're going to analyze uh, the view data page and uh, and I'll take you through a little bit of a tour as to what uh, what goes on there cheers